Is Washington going to get Russell Wilson? Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Ref the District. I'm Nathan. Joining me, as always, my co-hosts, we have Trevor and Stoner. And you heard it. Julie is already making the pitch. John Allison is whispering in his ear. Russell Wilson will be a Washington commander by the time Mm. the season starts. What do you think, Stoner? Do you think that's a realistic, you know, opportunity for the Wilson family? Realistic? I don't think it's realistic at all because first we have to acknowledge that he has a no trade clause. So he has all the say in whether or not he's going to become a Washington commander. That's the most important part of everything, but there are a lot of things that we can pitch to him, right? To, for him to come to Washington. If he, if he has the choices and I think they're a, a leading contender, but I mean, it's still big city. It's home. Richmond is where he's from. You still got the big city. You still got the big TV market. Your 45-minute flight away from New York City for his wife to be able to do what she wants to do. He can become the face of a rebrand. He would be everywhere, and he would be celebrated by everybody. I don't think it's going to happen. There's, there's probably just no way that he's going to eventually pick Washington over these other teams. Unless... What, Trev? Give me some ideas of other ways he could be here. Well, first, Trev, do you want him here? Yeah, I'll take Russell Wilson here. You Why take the hell him? Not? Yeah. That sounds very, very <laughs> blase. Hey, that's blase. a mean, like, he's, he's Trev has not like, wanted a single one of these QBs, so that's a step up for Trev. Well, that's like, I, I like Russell Wilson. He has a Super Bowl, but I, I just don't think he's like – all, 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 all that. But he's mm. a very, 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 very good quarterback. He has won a Super Bowl. He might be a Hall of Famer. But the last few years, he really hasn't done much to live up to the hype that everyone has on his name and what he brings to the table. Yeah, he won the skills challenge of the Pro Bowl, but I mean, that was cool. <laughs> right. And now everybody's <laughs> like, oh, get into D.C. Like, quick. But, like, um, he said he wants to. he wants to see what his options are. Um, I think we have, we are, I think we're a legitimate option because he hasn't beaten us in a while. He always loses to us. So why not come? If you can't beat him, join him. So why not just come join us? Um, We got the weapon. We've got, yeah, we have more offensive weapons when healthy than he has in in Seattle. I disagree, but okay. Bro, we have a running back. We have a receiver. We have a tight end. In Seattle, he had Tyler Lockett and and DK Metcalf. That's it. He had no tight end, and he had no running back between Adrian Peterson, DJ Dallas, Alex Collins. Like, they had a running back carousel going on over there. That's fair. So, healthy here, we have a healthy offense of Curtis Samuel, Logan Thomas, um, Terry McLaurin, Gibby, J.D. McKissick, if we re-sign him, he's healthy. That's already better than what he had in Seattle. Our defense is better than what he had in Seattle. We For have, sure. as, as poorly as they played this past year, we still have a vaunted defensive line. Our linebacker core is, is, is pretty crappy. Our secondary is not – doesn't jump out on paper, but they come to play every day, and they got better as the season went on, and they came together. So, which I think is what better in Seattle. Like you said, Stoner, his wife's opportunities are closer. He's from Richmond. I know camp's not there anymore, but it's still it probably will to home. Be. You think probably so? probably will be. Yeah, I okay. think it will be for the foreseeable future. Well, that's a plus if it is. He's yeah, home. Trey oh Camp my gosh, is home. He would be amazing. Um, there. Ron Rivera is a is a great coach. I think him and Russell Wilson can do some some amazing things because I think mm-hmm. they can understand each other better. They've both been in the game a long time. So, bring on! But you can't give up the house for Russell Wilson. Okay. Okay. Well, what are you willing to give up? I'll give up. <laughs> Alexa, Alexa, Alexa can go. He's giving up the house. Um, <laughs> giving up uh, the whole see. house there. Deron Payne. Okay. Another Plus. player. Plus. Uh, a couple draft picks. And that's it. A couple yeah, like in a what? And a third. Or two, like a second and a third, two like, players. How about this? How about this year's first? Or two, a third and two players. This, this year's, year's first. first? Mm-hmm. You're you're gonna have to give up this year's first. Next year, Russell Wilson. 
Yes. Next year's first and Deron Payne for Russell Wilson. Would ne- you do next that? year's first? Next year's no, first. You're gonna have this to year's up first. This year's first. For Russell and Wilson, why do we have to give up a first round pick for Russell Wilson? Like, like, like seriously, guys. Like, for real. he's a Hall of Famer since the Super Bowl. What has he done? Uh, a lot. You you want what he's done? Now this yeah. see everybody seems to kind of be off the Russell Wilson bandwagon because he had a rough second half of the year this year. Hello, he busted up his finger on his throwing hand and probably came back a little too early and still ended up with 25 touchdowns and only six picks. Okay? But look at his I'm record t- since he's been in this league. 11 and 5, 13 and 3, 12 and 4, 10 and 6, 10 5 and 1, 9 and 7, 10 and 6, 11 and 5, 12 and 4. And then this year he had a bad year. He, I mean, he First didn't even round. have a bad year. He had a he had an okay year. He's been to two Super Bowls. He's won a Super Bowl. He First his round. look at his his uh just look at his stats and look at his touchdowns. 26, 26, 20, 34, 21, 34, 35, 31, 40. He had 25 touchdowns this year and missed three and a half games. And I mean, again, a lot of those games he, was, he had 25 he was hurt. touchdowns this year. You know, no, he had but 20. he didn't miss three didn't didn't miss three and he Six, and six interceptions, by the way. I know, yeah, yeah, and only six so, picks. So big, yeah, Russell yeah. big Wilson. difference. But first round pick and next year's yes. first round and a player yes. for Russell Wilson. And Deron Payne. You're yes. probably going to have to give up more than those two firsts. And That's crazy. Well, I'm not doing that. I'm not You're doing not doing that? that? He's, no. he's Again, he's one of those guys where just tell me what you want. Well, just a little bit, but we're going to give you basically anything that I'm you not, ask for for Russell Wilson. I'm not mortgaging the future for Russell Wilson. I'm not doing it. Well, then you have no future. Aaron Rodgers, I'd do it, but not Russell Wilson, no. A lot of people seem a little bit hung up on this as far as the, the 34-year-old QB and not mortgaging the future. So, mm-hmm. And again, I want to point out here that if you're getting the Russell Wilson that leads your team deep into the, the playoffs – those first round around. picks that you're giving up. The only one that really has that that deep value is the eleventh that you're giving up this year. Mm-hmm. Next year, yeah. if because next year it might if, be twenty fifth. It's the twenty fifth pick, and then yeah. the year after that, if you're giving up, if you've given up another pick, I think a lot of people are just burned by the RG three trade, yeah. where they those picks, who, which by the way ended up being a big wash for the yeah. Rams in the first and the long term as well. The draft tends to be a bit of a crapshoot when it comes to those kind of things. So you're getting a, 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 a guaranteed great player for a team. Now you mentioned a lot of the reasons you both mentioned reasons why he would, you know, be great and why Washington could, you know, make a decent pitch here. I want mm-hmm. to hone in a little bit on the offensive side of the ball. One of the okay. reasons why he is unhappy in Seattle is Pete Carroll's focus is more of a rushing attack. Loves to run the ball. He want so Russell Wilson kind of sees the way that the league has gone into more of a passing attack. He wants to go to a team, I think, who has that kind of philosophy. Do you mm-hmm. think that Ron, who does want to do more of a smash mouth, you know, running thing, is going to be counter to what Russell Wilson wants? Or do you think that Scott no. Turner's kind of, you know, dynamic, mm-hmm. uh, lo- that's a little loose for Scott Turner's offense? Mm-hmm. But do you it's think different. That, 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 that he, you can, uh, you mm-hmm. can, make that argument that Scott Turner's offense can be used to appease. Yes. Yeah. Desires. Yes. Yes. Because we can actually execute an RPO rather than have Taylor Heineke be scared and, and not keep it and just hand the ball off. We can actually execute that. We can design run plays for, um, from, for Russell Wilson, like design quarterback runs. Mm-hmm. Um, since, you know, I think it's, I think it'd be great. I think it'd be but, great. Yeah. Let's not let's not forget or or understand better that the reason that Washington is a run centric team is because they don't have the quarterback who mm-hmm. can operate a wide open offense like the rest of the league. And yeah. so that's why it became important. That's how they started winning games. Limit Taylor Heineke and what he's doing back there and give the mm-hmm. ball to Gibson and McKissick more often than not and then eat up the clock. And that's the only way you can win. 
With Russell Wilson back there, you don't have to do that. You can do anything you, you can want. Let, you can do anything you want. You can let be Russ dynamic. Cook. 30 points. You yeah, can let you can Russ open, cook. Yeah, let him cook. Open up the offense. Do a lot of different things. Design plays to get the ball to Terry, you know, in the open field rather than mm-hmm. uh, just sitting down in a in a spot or what or whatever, you know. Allow guys to make plays after the catch. Mm-hmm. And that's what Russell went, Russell Wilson can do. And Ron mm-hmm. Rivera is not going to hold him back. There's just no way. No, there's no as way. As soon as he comes in here and he starts talking offense and everything that he understands about the game, Ron Wilson yeah. be like, hey, you and Scott, you guys just do your thing. <laughs> yep. I'm going to be over here. You know, Win us some football games. games. Win the Commanders some win. football games. I yeah. think we need another receiver to pair with Terry McLaurin if we, if we bring Russell Wilson here, though, because I think Russell needs two wide receiver options rather than just one. Well, I mean, you mentioned Curtis Samuel, and there's DeAndre yeah, but he's like the, the like a, like the on the outside, and, like another outside, an outside like bigger, a bigger fifty fifty receiver, like he had potential in DK that Metcalf. you can make that through the draft depends on what picks mm-hmm. you would give, have to give up. Yeah, give up exactly, Wilson, and that's so. what we're talking about. That's where I'm... let me ask let me ask you this, Trev. No, no, the Rams, stop, no. The Rams have <laughs> absolutely, absolutely one hundred percent. Nobody disputes this. They have mortgaged their future. To win now, they have zero first round picks until 2027 right. that they've given up for the likes of Jalen Ramsey and but, Von uh, Miller and and Matthew Stafford, of course, to win now. And they're winning now. Would you do are. that? If I was living in L.A., yeah, because that means they're going to come to play, play ball in L.A. all year. So they got all yeah. the money in the world. They don't care. But for for us to do that in D.C., to throw to, all just, the chips, just to, yeah, to throw kind of everything that, in the bag. Yeah, put all that stuff aside about playing in nice weather and a nice stadium and a <laughs> and a and a solid <laughs> franchise. I'm just saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Would yeah. you mortgage your future if Russell Wilson agreed to play here, and you gave up two first and Deron Payne to get him here, and he'd sign a long term contract? That's key. Which of course he would. Uh, if he's going to make the trade, they're going to do a yeah, long-term if he's contract. Waving the no, if he's waving the no trade uh, clause, he's going to yeah. sign the no the yeah the, five the, year hundred ninety thing, million dollar I think deal. What's, okay, I think what's holding me back from saying yes is our position in this year's draft. We're mm-hmm. at number eleven. Because it's that's so a, high. Yeah, it's a really good spot with with the prospects that are coming out this year's draft to, to yeah. a good position to be in. If we were like. Like last year, like 19, 20, 21, hell yeah, get rid of that first round pick. That's basically the second round anyway, after top 20 in the first round. Everything okay. after that is pretty much. So if we were picking. But top, that's like what 20... it takes. But that's what it takes, Trev. Are you going to do that? Because it's definitely going to take that number 11 pick. Just this year. so just that's Deron 100%. Payne. Just Deron Payne. Deron Payne, this year's first, next year's first. Next year's I honestly first. don't know that the players are necessarily going to be a part of this. This could just be a yeah, pick maybe not. thing here. But still, um, then it'd be three firsts. It's, so it's yeah, going to be – it might be four picks overall, right? It might be like yeah, the first, be, two, yeah, two firsts and two seconds, two firsts, a, a, <laughs> Come on, a second, Trent. and a third. It's going to take – it's going to be pick heavy. The reason why I mention this is because his contract – is guaranteed and this is the contract is what we want to look out for when it comes to russell wilson mm-hmm. the, the seahawks if they're going to deal him want to deal him before the end of march because there is a kicker like that's a cap gonna, hit yeah that's going to be yeah. a difference in a cap hit so mm-hmm. he's, he's the cap for for to happen, million dollars against the cap yeah. yeah, but it's only I think it's the cap hits only going to be about 20 million dollars if okay. if they trade him before uh the certain uh deadline which i've been trying to look it up and i can't i can't find the deadline when i had it up earlier but well, either uh, way either way you're gonna have to give up a king's ransom to get him here yes right yeah okay I mean, you so can't, you can't yeah. Trev, you're willing hood, to give up you're not you're gonna hoodwink to seattle one. No. i am willing to give up picks for this one i just mm-hmm. for this particular draft number 11 i guess that is what's going to take to get there but i just think we could do something at number 11 i don't it's just i don't know it's tricky. well okay who would you take at 11 right now if nicobe dean washington okay N'Kobe so dean. you don't get nicobe dean but you get russell wilson would you trade russell wilson for nicobe dean 
Stop, Trev. That's an instant yes. That's an instant. Of course, I would trade no an unproven yeah, college yes. linebacker yes. Yes. for Russell yes. Wilson. Hell yes. We got today. We brought him along. Yesterday. We brought him along. I was born. All of that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. I'm all exactly. in. Exactly. Damn it, I'm all in. Whatever I'm it takes. In. Whatever it takes. Uh, Again, like I say, every every show, pretty much when we talk about this. It's irresponsible for this team to go into training okay, camp I, with QB. Can I ask you a question? You gotta have the guy there. I know we'll talk about this again another time, but okay, okay. So we we land we land Russell Wilson. All right. I'm in heaven. Do we do we draft a quarterback in the second round? Like one of these rookies in the no. second round to, to no. back you up. You don't Russell need you do not need to draft a quarterback this year if you no. get Russell Wilson. Right. You don't want to draft your 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 Pat nope. Mahomes. You don't want to draft nope. your nope. Um, I'm not spending Uber draft capital. capital Aaron Rodgers. A, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. I'm not drafting a a guy and using draft capital for a guy who I hope doesn't play for five years. No, I'm not doing that. Mm -mm. Yep. Because that's what you you're drafting. Russell him is for. 34. You know that. Okay, okay, but he's got. Assuming he's healthy, Aaron Rodgers is 38. Yeah, yeah Brady played at 44. He almost four. Big Ben played, him. you know, it was well, out no, there wait. being Big a statue. Big Ben was on the field. Big, he was on the <laughs> he field. Was field. Yeah. <laughs> he was terrible the last couple of years. Okay. So, no, but so Russell a, Wilson's not been terrible. Question. It's a legitimate yeah. question. You no, don't not draft this year. You don't at draft all. a QB. No. At all. No. At all. Probably not for the next three years. So then what do we do with the backup spot if we get Russell Wilson? You've got Taylor Heineke. For two and a half million dollars. Right? And yeah, three and three. you could probably keep you don't just have, two. You, well, you kind of need to. You probably, you probably, of, you probably maybe, maybe you do draft a seventh round project yeah. because you're that's not what I'm saying. Kyle like, Allen. That's what I was saying. Like, none of these guys, like, what Shermer if Shermer isn't exactly. What if Matt, think about it. Like, what if Sam Howell, Desmond Ritter, or Matt Corral you're not taking show one up of the top in the third round? They, they're right there. The best player available. They're right there in our lap. Do we take them? Fourth think round, maybe? Maybe. If, if they're the best player available, then you might yeah. be able to convince BPA, me. BPA, okay. I you guess. might be able to convince me. But you BPA. don't want that guy sitting over there as your future. Why? Why? Because you hope he sits for three or four years and he no quarterback fine. is going to want to do that. Which is, no, which is fine because we already admit that none of these guys are like top level NFL ready to go now. Every Have quarterback Sam that, Howell sit for three yeah, they're years all they're all going to sit. I think they're they're all going to sit. Maybe be an a Brett Favre Aaron Rodgers situation. That's what I'm saying. Like Washington. just draft one and have them have them learn behind Russell Wilson. COVID happens. I mean, it's yeah. still a thing, and we want yeah. our quarterback of the future. Russell's 34. That's a win now move. If, if we want a franchise quarterback, if it is the best the player board. available, maybe, yes. but I don't see it happening. I just don't see yeah. it happening. I am very enticed though. There is heavy rumors coming out of Ashburn out of this DMV area. Oh, that Washington is pursuing a QB uh, and that QB is very likely going to be Wilson is the one that they're targeting. Uh, what do you guys make of, of Ju Julie having a little fun there? with the mascot uh you know was it just simple fun do you think that they're you know she's pretty you know i know she's not on the football side of, of the house mm -hmm. but do you, well, what kinda. do you think of yeah i mean what she's not making decisions of? but you guys yeah, yeah. You, I, it's happening I, 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 I it's <laughs> happening as you were saying that nathan i was in my head like it's happening yeah of Why? all, all, the, she, of all the player of all the players to take mm -hmm. a picture with at the Pro Bowl, yeah, Jonathan Allen goes up to Russell Wilson with their spouses and takes a picture. Now I'm sure and there's did, other players that have pictures with Jonathan Allen and Russell Wilson, but you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. And their their like, wives were both like wearing almost the exact same thing. I don't know if that's you know what I'm saying planned because they were talking and say, "Hey, I'm just saying, let's go to this thing and let's wear the and same the way, thing." Cool. And the way and the mascot really looked at Julie, so as in like, I've heard this all week. Stop saying it because you're speaking it. We're speaking into an existence, guys. We're speaking I think, it. I think it's going yeah. to happen. Julie didn't say that just off. Happening. Yeah, Julie didn't off, say that yeah. just off the top of her head. She no, she's she doing that. Stuff. You know, she watches Ref the District. She watches the District. <laughs> That's why. And she's like, those guys want Russell Wilson. Maybe I should start speaking it into existence like they are. I like it. It's gonna happen. It okay. Happen. Now I have another question because it's quarterback talk. Huh. You ready for this? 
if we're sure. targeting Russell Wilson and it doesn't yeah. go through, is he the only big guy we're targeting? Or is it like another last year? Is, are we targeting one big guy, swing and miss, we settle for somebody else? Like they or do we have do plans? Do missed out on plans? Stafford. Who, who are, yeah, who are do we have after? plans for other, other big players? You because really, I hate when they report that we're targeting Russell Wilson. What if we? What if Deshaun Watson's in the process of getting cleared? What if we're targeting mm -hmm. him? So like, they, do we have I a saw plan? A report. Yeah. So like, do we have a plan yeah. for for another top guy, or is it just Russell Wilson only? That's the, I hate that stuff when they report right. that. Washington seems dead set on getting a veteran QB that can win <sighs> games here. If you want to see our takes on any of those QBs Trev mentioned, go ahead and check out our channel. We've uh, talked about Watson. We've talked about uh, Carr. We've talked about yeah. Rodgers. And now we're talking about whether or not Russell Wilson will end up so in the Burgundy and Gold, whether or not he will take command mm. and be here in Washington. Let us know what you think. Is he going to be in Washington? We've got three Three yeses that it's a want. It is. It's a yeah. need. It's a want. Is it, it, it's, it's a, a desperation. A need for, for, for this team, but we want Russell Wilson on this podcast. Now, or on Yeah, this get him on the podcast. Now, yes. <laughs> we would love, we'd love to have Russell Wilson for the podcast. But we on this channel, we're all three yeses for having Russell Wilson be a yes. commander. Yeah. Stoner, you said you don't think it's real realistic possibility. I think it's about a five percent chance. And why is that? You never. I don't think you said why. Did he say why? I mean, he, gave, he gave some reasons. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, just he's not coming to Washington. <laughs> I hate the. I hate that. That's the reality. But, but yeah, the reasons that I gave are not good enough. If if you want to be forty five minutes away from New York, just go to New York and play. That's well, I go mean, to you know go I mean? to New Jersey and play. You mean? Yeah, exactly. Like so go the up Giants, there and like for the, the Jets. Giants. So uh, I just don't think it's there are other teams that will be in competition, and it will be a very interesting decision to watch. Washington fans mm -hmm. are very excited for it. I think yeah. that it's a better than five percent chance. I do think the conversations are happening. I do think the biggest hurdle is going to be convincing. Russell Wilson to waive that no trade clause. Mm -hmm. I think that Washington is willing to give up mm -hmm. a King's ransom. We're, going, we're about to make Good. a move, y'all. It's about to be crazy. I think Tomorrow that part is. I, I I don't last. You you saw the reports for the Stafford trade. They got to a certain part, and then they were like, "Nope, we're not willing to go that far." Yeah. This time, I think they're willing to go that far. Yeah. This <laughs> time, Seven this time they're. Yeah. This time they're willing to be like, nope, fine. We'll give you two first, the two yep. seconds, and the players. Yeah, Bye yeah. Not, they're, they're you know they're not gonna mind giving up those kind of resources. You weren't willing to part with all of that for Matthew Stafford, and then one, you watch Matthew Stafford go to the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl, and two, you look at your quarterback play all year, and you go, we just can't keep doing this. So no, that is this time. If mm -hmm. it presents itself, we're going to go for it. We're going to do it. We're going to mortgage that future that's not going to involve Ron Rivera anyway. He's not going to be here five years from now. Why not? Uh, well, not if they don't win. Not if they don't win. They got to win games. And to do that, you got to go out and get a player like Russell Wilson. Let us know in the comments what you think. Do you think the Washington Commanders will go that out and get good, Russell man. Wilson? Is it going good. to happen? I yes. think it's going to happen, or at least they're going to make the attempt. We'll yes. see whether or not it's going to happen in reality. Let us know what you think in the comments. What would you give up to get Russell Wilson here? My life. I know some people in the comments. <laughs> not go that far, I, I'm not that's, how, that's how bad I want to win, damn it. No, let's, not go, let's not go that far. I saw in the comments some people, we actually did have some detractors from our community post. Who said that they would? They do not want to have a 34 year old QB here. So I let us know fools. if you're one, I mean, if you're one did, of those. He did. He did throw the game losing interception in the Super Bowl. Just saying. Yeah. Well, <laughs> they should have run the ball at the, at the half line. yard line. He likes to pass the ball. I mentioned that <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Let us know what you think. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell. And until next time, what? Be a fan.